Hello everyone, today we're going to be reviewing the Philips Fidelio DS8530 iPod dock. You can see the box right here. We're going to go over some of the sound quality issues with it, see how it sounds. Um, talk about how it actually works with both an iPod, an iPhone, and an iPad, which is different than some other iPod docks. And uh, talk about the relative strength versus some of the other iPod docks on the market. So with that, let's get to the review. So I mentioned that the uh, we're going to review the Philips Fidelio 8530. Versus some other iPod docks. I've got a, a Bose SoundLink right here. That uh, It's probably the closest competitor. I've got a, a, a rechargeable uh, Logitech S715, which is about the same size, but uh, a little less sound. I have an Alltech Lay Unseen IMT800, which has more sound, a little bit more booming, but much bigger. And then a Fluence iPod dock right here, which is um, a much bigger speaker, but and it... Uh, it, it it has a little bit fuller sound, but again, it's uh, it's a little bit bigger and it has some of its own uh, disadvantages and advantages to it. In terms of speakers that are roughly the same size, you have the Philips Fidelio, the Bose SoundLink. Now, this is not a sound dock, it's, it's Bluetooth only, and the Logitech S715, which is a little bit cheaper. Um, of these three, um, the Philips has the best sound, it has the most consistent sound, and in my opinion, it probably looks the best too. So. Uh, um, a lot of advantages to it in terms of sound, and uh, let's go over some of the actual um, performance characteristics and, and why it actually is my preferred speaker of these three. Okay, let's go into some of the design. Uh, you, you really can't see how many drivers are in that, actually in the speaker, but you do have two ports in the back, so um, keep in mind how closely you have it to the wall will dictate a little bit of, about your bass coming in. You've got an auxiliary input, so if you have a device that is not an iPod or iPad or iPhone, you can run it in through your auxiliary input and still work. And again, it does have power. Now the speaker is not rechargeable, nor will accept battery. So keep that in mind that you will always need to be near a wall outlet in order to use a speaker. Okay, so uh, a couple things about the speaker itself. Why do I like it a little bit better or better than both the Bose and the Logitech? Well, if you're playing it strictly through iTunes, um, the speaker is a bit flat. It doesn't sound all that much better than these other two speakers, if better at all. Uh, however, in order to run the speaker, you need to download um, an app through um, that uh, for the Fidelo. And what it does is it actually lets you use TuneIn Radio and run all of your, uh, your playlist right through this application. But the thing that it does is it also gives you a built-in equalizer, which you can kind of fine-tune your sound. And actually, uh, you get the ability to tweak it up quite a bit better than uh, what I was able to get just strictly using the iTunes um, um, equalizer settings. So in terms of performance, this is what kind of sets it apart from, from both the Bose and the Logitech. This gives it real full sound. The bass can be a bit punchy at times. Uh, it can be a bit bright at times too on, on the high end, but it really does bring out the mid-range. You do get very good performance and, uh, and, and to me, noticeably a better performance than both the Bose and the Logitech. And it really takes it into a kind of a level for speakers that are, are much larger than the uh, Philips Fidelo as well. So good performance out of a speaker that's pretty compact. Okay, I'm going to be careful for my copyright music here, but um, again, the sound's pretty good. It can be completely room filling as well. So that's one of the, the nice features of the speaker is that it does have good sound. It's good and loud. Uh, it works well for both hip hop and more of a classical music as you can hear here with uh, the Battle Hymn of the Republic, um, which I guess it truly isn't classical music, but it, it is something I can play that's not on copyright. Um, but the music performance is very good. Um, it also comes with a remote control that is uh, functional, but not great. Um, there's a few challenges with it in terms of advancing to the next song and, um, and, uh, and being able to skip tracks and go back. It, it, it's a little bit cumbersome at times. Okay, um, again, you have the ability to play through iTunes um, using the Fidelo app. Now, it, it is a bit cumbersome at times to be able to navigate through, um, but it does give you a little bit better sound performance. So there's a bit of a trade-off there. One of the other things that the Fidelo app does is it gives you, uh, um, it, it, it instantly connects you to a tune-in radio. So this turns the Fidelo um, directly into a, uh, just kind of a, a plugged-in music player through your internet. So. Um, it also has a clock that is uh, plays um, that shows weather. It also goes through the, the app. So the app is pretty functional. It gives you a lot of, uh, of nice functionality to it. Again, it's a little bit cumbersome when you're trying to navigate playlists and albums through iTunes. 
but uh, for the most part, it's definitely worthwhile. Okay, final verdict on the Phillips Fidelo DS8530. I'm going to give it four and a half, approaching five stars. It's very good, very good sound, um, very good functionality. You can use your iPod, your iPad, your iPhone. And one of the things that Phillips recognized is you need a little room for cases so that it extends out so you can actually have your case and use it uh, on your iPod. Um, so nice functionality. Very good sound again, especially when you're using the Fidelo app. Now I'm going to take off about, uh, I'm torn if I should take off a half star or not because uh, for the application because it is a bit clunky navigating through iTunes. I fully expect that they'll have an update at some point. They'll take care of that. Um, and, and it's not, it doesn't make the application unusable. It just makes it a little slower. Um, but in terms of final verdict, this is the speaker that's going to uh, have the covetous spot on our nightstand that will play music throughout the night for us. Um, another thing that Philip thought of is no bright lights on the front panel. So you can uh, use this at night and not be distracted by a blue light or, or whatnot. And when you take your iPod off, the unit turns off. And oh yeah, by the way, as you'd expect, it does fully charge all your devices. So there's a lot to like about this um, in terms of an overall, um, if you're going to buy one speaker dock, it'd be tough not to uh, select the Philips uh, Fidelo DS8530.